Yeah. You feeling think a little about tough. your emotions. You think? Okay. And then. And you just place yourself in that I... chair. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Sometimes it takes a second to find a good seat. I'm kind of stiff chairs. <clears throat> you know what? I'll stand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's all right, Mr. Ch Chavez. Okay. Hi, guy. All right, so Jane and I were talking about senior buns and, and transferring ownership from states to possibly oh, you, right? Oh, placed Jane? emotes. Yeah, oh! pretty. I'm, I mean, potentially me. It could be any of the other managers. Oh, um, Jonathan called wait, me in, and, and oh! I'd love to throw my name down what there. What the but, fuck? You know, considering we have a lot of managers, I like the idea of, you know, my, my original pitch to Collective the government ownership. was going to be, well, my original pitch was going to be essentially if there was a way I could rent out the establishment because buying it i do not have that kind of money i work a minimum wage job and half the time i'm not getting paid so renting out the establishment was sort of my original idea you know 50k down every three months we can renew it sort of deal but you know you can alternate the management sort of deal um so but, the... oh sorry go ahead i thought you were done but, but your phone call sort of changed everything a little bit yeah, so t I guess just to g give a forward, uh, something that, that I've been working on on behalf of Mr. Thoroughbred and working closely with uh, Ms. Ms. Farthing is essentially finding uh, people who are operating st state-owned businesses in order to c c collect their interest uh, on whether they would like to own that business once the business turns privatized from uh, state-owned, oh possibly in the fu future. Uh, and that reminded me of the time that I was working part-time uh, at Senior Buns, you seem to be running the place very, very quickly, uh, very efficiently. So you, your name was the first one that I thought of. Uh, the, the goal with this is a uh, basically a rough draft of a business license application uh, process has already been created uh, in anticipation of Mr. Thoroughbred being elected to the mayoral seat. So the goal is to get basically the first round of businesses or the people who are currently operating those businesses uh, on the government's behalf today, today um, to uh, get them all lined up to get their paperwork sorted so that the very first city council meeting, Mr. Thoroughbred can walk in with a set of amendments uh, re resembling uh, our federal <laughs> bill of rights because we don't inherit those from the federal government directly. Um, and also with a stack of business applications that would be foundational to getting the business up and running. Uh, some of the, the some of the the, the direct uh, categories of businesses that we would be lo looking uh, to to make sure that we have on hand would be food services, transportation, uh, automotive repair, uh, automotive re repair services, um, and, and other foundational ca categories as we find them and could categorize them. So essentially, we're trying to get to the, the left of bang and make sure that people who are are entrepreneurial in nature uh, can can be. Uh, fully supported by Mr. Thur Thoroughbred's campaign uh, because it, it does seem like that, that we're going to be ta ta taking the seat. So to trying to, uh, I, I feel like I feel like I'm speaking too much, but um, trying to trying to find okay. those trying to find those entrepreneurs uh, and gather their interest and get their paperwork in, in order is the current goal. Uh, and we didn't have anybody for, for food service, um, which is when I thought of you, Miss Eric, and, and senior buns as, as an establishment. Um, Something else that we would be looking to do after the first round of businesses are done is we, we would want to um, essentially establish a ch chamber of commerce, which is one of Mr. Thurbert's uh, pla platform promises. And that chamber of commerce would be made up of promising businesses, more than likely selected from that first round of businesses that are <laughs> that are going to have their applications pushed to the city council uh, right when Mr. Thurbert's elected. <laughs> uh, and essentially, whenever a new business proposal comes forward, uh, Obviously, the mayor's office cannot be experts on every c category of business uh, that can be provided in the city. Uh, so we would want to gather the opinions of the businesses sitting within the Chamber of Commerce to see if it is viable. For example, if somebody were to try to uh, get the up and atom running 
and they they have a completely flawed business model. They're not sourcing their food correctly. They know nothing about sanitation and hygiene. Uh, we may receive that business license uh, uh, application and come to you, Miss Eric, and say, does does this seem uh, appropriate to grant? given your expertise in the field and we would oh. take your opinion into very serious consideration before granting that license and taking it before the city council um, no, i love it so that's basically the, that's it's basically the pitch so we're looking for the we're looking for the round one of entrepreneurs uh, to be the first businesses in the city as it reforms i am i'm 100 i'm i'm 100 on board because i i, I been working with Nino a fair bit over my time at Senior Buns. Outside of Senior Buns, he is he's a genius in what he's been working on within you know with the tools he's limited to. He's wow. Do you want to chat to them a little bit about some uh. of the things we were talking about today and how we can synergize <sighs> new upcoming businesses with the pre-existing businesses after these first rounds of mm. you know potential proposals going out. Absolutely. Uh, do, you, do you mind? Do you mind if I take notes on this? Uh, yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, I just wanted to make sure that this wasn't anything you you viewed as a business secret and would rather not have written down. I wanted no. to offer you that cur courtesy. Um, do we want to hit the note on the uh, the um, food related stuff? I think food would be a great direction to start with. Oh, I know you've got your other project that you are working on, but. Yeah you know, just talking about how we can synergize ex new businesses with existing mm. businesses, I think would be, let's start with the food stuff. Um, have you, uh, have you all had a chance to, uh, uh, take a trip over to Polito with the new hunting lounge that is opened up? Uh, no, I'm not yet. yet. Ooh, not since the hunting yeah, lounge is opened up. <laughs> no, sir. Uh, well, there's a gentleman up there, uh, by the name of, uh, Hunter Steel. He's been uh, hunting for quite some time, and uh, he's starting to show budding and uh, veteran hunters some uh, prime locations where uh, there's some overpopulation of deer. Now, the instructions that he provides has uh, new hunters making their way into the forest, taking out some of the the deer. And then skinning the them room. for venison, for fur. Oh. Oh. Uh, for venison meat, for fur, carcasses, other things along those lines. Uh, you then take all those animal byproducts, bring them into the store, uh, into the city. Uh, there's a little place where you can take the fur, curate it, and turn it into bagged, uh, post-curated fur, as well as bring it down to the meat factory to turn into processed meat. Now, right now, most of the meat that's at Senior Buns is the frozen, subsidized, low nutritious, um, you know, product that every citizen is is eating. Now, you could your, imagine your Grady government standard. Precisely. I mean, we make it fresh. You know, we make everything to order, but we can't monitor the quality of the product products that we are or the produce that we get mm. supplied now <laughs> locally sense. locally sourced produce from the citizens of los mm -hmm. santos it's it's huge it offers so many opportunities to people i mean i would tend to agree what is it called like um, farm to table can become yes. a reality remember farming ash it's yeah a i do a lot of states have um, legislation similar to that that supports farm to table. I believe they are called the P Proud programs. Uh, so, like, if it, if a product is California Proud, it was grown and sourced in California and served and sold in California. So, so we would be looking to make a, a, a that's something beautiful. similar, something similar like a San Andreas Proud program. Um, that, absolutely. If we've we've already sort of put our feelers out. We've gone through the steps ourselves. We've spoken about how it could work, how we could synergize it with senior buns. And I think after the first wave of licenses do go out, if they do go out, then this could be a great a great business model to test. See if we can make this work. I would tend to agree, but I would also think that it would be best 
<laughs> modularized into businesses that are specific about their the, the specific services that that they offer mm -hmm. um so so you, if you were to have a union of hunters that would want to uh, apply for a business license on their own um and then you would want to have uh possibly the the, the meat packing industry uh, apply for its own business license and the restaurants apply for their own business license that level Absolutely. of modularity that level of modularity might might prove uh valuable and flexibility in the future well that does draw into question right um you know be it senior buns or you had mentioned like uh like a potential up and atom right um as more industries as more businesses begin to grow uh you know competition does spur uh creativity right um absolutely but when you like kind of with the reference that you, if we're going kind of out out of uh out of scope here please do stop me but um while oh, these no, things could be no modularized um how would uh has there been consideration on like government regulations on business versus unregulated trade um that's something that we would need to explore more. We don't want to make anything that would be too, too complicated and raise the bar of entry too high. Mm. But if, yeah. if, if, unfortunately, when it comes to to regulatory legislature, um, usually that's that's going to have to be reactive as those problems arrive. If some sort mm. of anti-competitive nature arises, um, or if somebody is doing things that that are breaching upon the the boundaries of the penal code, then that's something that we would need to react to but if you yeah. foresee something uh with your expertise in the field i would love to see a, a proposal or or uh i guess uh whatever your concern may be and i may be able to translate that into into uh a piece of legislature Wait, this guy's freaking Thurabred smart and his campaign team would be able to review and we may be able i don't to know who the hell this guy is but this guy is fucking smart dude the golden idea of legislature yeah um uh, but yeah i, I know that it seems kind of deflecty, but I, I I still want to hear your concerns. But I'm not sure if we can. I'm not sure if we're at the stage where we're considering uh, regulations yet. Understandable. Um, but yeah, like I I mean I mean I think uh, you know, uh, me and Jane spent a lot of time uh, discussing those things and the beauty of, like you said, hunters uh, providing meat, meat packers kind of focusing on. Uh, the acquisition of said meat and packaging it up and then distributing it to, um, you know, restaurants such as senior buns. But even in the interim, if it was uh, businesses getting the collecting, sourcing a good amount of meat, packing it themselves and selling it to senior buns, even if that was like a, you know, they were doing that whole vertical, even that in and of itself as uh, business entities, would uh i think spur quite a bit of uh positivity in in uh in the city um absolutely while there are a select few people that have the true uh that, that truly have the spark of of imagination there are a lot of people who take an idea and say maybe i could do that better absolutely um, so <clears throat> opening up this doorway is something that I, <laughs> i'm absolutely in support of uh, in that case, I, again, uh, thank you so much for even considering me and putting my name forward. I would be honored. I will speak with the other managers and we can, I'll, I'll sit down, have a chat with them and see if either any of them are better suited for this role as opposed to myself. But we have looked into it. I would, I would absolutely love to, you know, if this were to come, come forward. I would love to I be there the and months. have any sort of input, especially with the business licenses. We all want to see the city grow up from, well, the shit hole everyone sort of left it in. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, so with, with with your interest in mind, uh, I'll, I will be emailing you a form that you would need to, to fill out. It asks if you have a custom business proposal as a PDF, uh, if you've hired a lawyer or something to prepare that for you. It's more than welcome. But it is ultimately unnecessary. The the required questions in the form uh, are only are, are the entirety of the baseline information that's required to to apply for a business license. Everything else is just extra. makes 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 it look like you went above and beyond in terms of effort. It's more of for for weeding out low effort submissions <laughs> in the future. Um, I tried to keep I tried to keep this in the documents app, but unfortunately, right now it is a, a Google form. 
so that's that's what I will be uh, I will be emailing to you. If that's something that you're still interested in filling out, yeah, I text. would I would absolutely love to. Let's I, go, Jay. Yeah, I would like to prove that I have very much invested in this. Yes, and, and given that this this process is still very much so in its infancy, I would like to request that you keep keep that form confidential to yourself, or yes. only share it with with a, an attorney in which you have retained. Uh, it's, yeah. it's, it's it's simply we're not we're not ready to open the fire hose to everybody yet. We don't want absolutely everybody submitting business license applications. We're approaching prominent people to give them that first opportunity due to the level of of effort uh, and, and entrepreneurial imagination that they've, they've they've presented on the surface. And that's you know it's one of the reasons that, that I contacted you front and center once we started collecting these applications. This Jane, you've actually you were actually number number two on my list. Well, I think I, it might be best to hold off just for the time being and sending that over because I would like to speak with the other managers down at Senior Buns. So because we all want the best for the business. We want to see it grow. We want to see, you know, people do amazing things. So I'll have a chat with them first and so that we can sort of collectively decide which one of us we will put forward for the, you know, I guess, test the water, so to speak. Understood. I understand that it's a, a lot to process in the fact that you have the... the oh, I want to do it. The, I yes, want to do it, but, but I would but, feel awful if I didn't <laughs> let others know. <laughs> yes. The fact that you have the consideration sure. for your fellow operators and managers uh, just is just a, a, a testament to your character, uh, Ms. Herrick. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. I think they'll all support you. I, I tend to agree. Uh, but you know, I, under, I understand the fact that you want to uh, you want to confirm and make sure that there's no contest. Yeah, I, I d just cause some people might see it as like a, some sort of takeover. It's not that at all. <laughs> yes, and it, but if you have any other businesses, um, just just again, given that content of character, if you would like the form, it's open to you whenever you you would like it. Just let me know. Uh, yeah. Definitely. Uh, is that just for other businesses, or would this just be for the senior buns? Because I'd I'd be more than happy to it's, submit something for senior buns and what my vision of the the business is. It's for it's for all businesses. Uh, so all businesses will be following this process to apply for their business license to be officially recognized by the the cabinet of Mr. Thoroughbred once once it comes into power. This is so yeah. This is exciting. <laughs> After uh, after you meet with the managers, maybe you also want to meet with Max uh, to have a general discussion of, uh, you know, that direction that you envisioned for senior buttons and how um, the future mayor's office can help besides, was, you know, officially oh, putting you through as owner. Were you working the day he came in and he was a little rude to one of our employees, so I sent the entire staff out to surround I him. I was not there. We surrounded oh. him, pointed at him, and shouted shame. Ooh, I was not there. <laughs> didn't hurt I him. think he's. I <laughs> think he's cool, though. I think he's cool with that. We, Maybe he even like enjoyed it. We're a little family in there, so yeah, similar, yeah, similar into that. <laughs> Mr. Thoroughbred is not alien to uh, creative feedback. We'll call it. Yeah, I think I think he he made it have even forgotten about it already. I would, I would not be surprised unless he's reminded of it. Yeah, unless unless he's reminded of it. Unless he <laughs> goes to you and you say, "Hey, aren't you the one that said shame, shame, shame to me?" Then if he doesn't say that, then he very likely forgot. I, I shall like strike it. it. I secretly gonna, hope she do it again. I'm gonna strike <laughs> shame from my vocabulary. These are good picks. That is gone because now. Because Penny ran Rooster's <laughs> Rest, <laughs> and Ash he, ran. He likes working uh, there. He, I, I, just, I, have, I was not there that day, but he's since worked there several times. That's good. So he knows what it's like, and probably understands that occasionally we do need managers on the floor. Because goddamn, everyone's a clown, a class clown, occasionally. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, um, did you guys have any other ideas about any sort of uh, either business ideas or any business synchronization ideas? Nino's got 
a fair few, I believe. Uh -huh. Um. Well, I'm. I'm. Uh, you know, I feel like this uh, may be a little outside of scope. It, it's. I feel a little selfish talking about it, but I'll do it anyways. Uh, I've been running LS uh, Customs over Casa, which is a uh, what is it? Um, roadside assistance tow service, little mechanic shop on the side. About fifteen operators with a dispatch service. We dispatch uh, to each other. So anytime someone's broken up on the side of the road, they go down there. It's very customer facing. Um, our general policy is customer first. Take every phone call that you get and uh, make sure that uh, whether it's, uh, you know, helping the people on the road or uh, helping them at the shop, it's uh, less robotic and more very precision based, right? Uh, in other words, uh vehicle comes in, make sure that customer gets a, you know, a uh, good assessment as to what exactly we're about to do the vehicle as opposed to, uh, you know, put in as many pots as, as possible. Um, so I think it's very similar to, you know, I don't think it's uh, all that unique compared to, uh, say, uh, some fresh ideas that people could put out there outside of what already exists. Uh, I kind of um, downplaying myself. Go ahead, John. The applications that we've received thus far, and the the mechanic shops that we've uh, essentially talked to so far, um, they they've all been st stationary. They haven't offered any uh, out to the customer services so far. Uh, so I do think that you have a a bit of a niche there in the mm. ring where you would have that that tow service and that field repair <laughs> service, um, and it may it may be. Um, yeah, I, th I think it has its own niche to fill. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, even tow itself. I don't. I don't think I've seen anyone who's prominent in in towing. But not then again, it's... I don't really touch that. Certainly not a... as a company. Everybody runs their own cr crews, but nobody's. I, yeah, organized. exactly. Yeah, there's no organization. There's there's no one um, coming out on top, from what I could tell. Mm. From my so, understanding, I mean, I've, I've seen a lot of people, I think, that are trying to get something going with the tow. It'd be nice to see you work alongside them, perhaps. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I think you could still... There's absolutely still room to, to build something for yourself there. Um, you mentioned... Uh, th there's a word you used. Uh, complimentary... Synchronize? Yeah. Yeah, synchronize? Well, yeah. What what was uh yeah. uh what 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 does that mean exactly? I don't know if synchronize is really the word I, I wanted to use. I feel like what's another word for that? Like meshing Syn together? Well, Syn synergy. Synergy. Synergistic is what I wanted to Yes. Yeah, you know, like uh businesses that can uh run alongside each other like a like a chain like a logistical chain like as you described with hunting you know you uh mm. you've got hunters taking down uh deer and then they process that deer bring it down to a meat processing oh. plant then you've got workers at the meat processing plant that do that and then they bring it down to uh you know a restaurant like senior buns like that um that's synergist Describing that synergy in a business application, I think, would be a very big plus. We do have a question that asks what your economic loop looks like. Like, who do you interface with? How do you provide that service? What do you export as goods, et cetera? So if you were to say, well, if I have a bunch of tow workers uh, and not many mechanics on, then, then I may, uh, you know, do a, do a, a, a fee for a, basically a finder's fee for like popular motor, uh, motor works or mostly if you just weren't able to handle that capacity that that's that sort mm. of synergy would be would be fantastic to see but i understand that if if that's something you're not willing to to consider in a competitive nature then that's also re reasonable that's uh that's actually a very good idea to be honest um that that uh, honestly i think that is a i'd like to see more of that which i think does happen uh, between some of the shops. Um, I know for ourselves, we use a lot of coupon codes, which is how we do our advertising. Uh, helps build traffic, especially in 
you uh, mentioned Poplar Motive Works, both uh, them and ourselves. Obviously, we got to drive traffic uh, through word of mouth more than anything. Um, but uh, sure. yes. Mm -hmm. Or just t taking the initiative uh, to to have you know conversations with like Mr. Pistone or Miss Mushkin about formalizing a relationship in some way. Yep. Mm -hmm. Having a, some sort of contract. Um. But yeah, I like personally, I love um, business ideas where, like Jonathan said, they would interface with each other. Um, so I I definitely hope to see more of that in the future. Mm. But uh, if you're if you're interested in throwing your your hat in the ring, then you know we've we've approached you and said, hey, we would love for you to apply. So the, obviously the the. The, the onus on whether you would like to apply now or wait for the process to mature mm. once the cabinet's actually established is com completely at your discretion. Um, um well, sorry, I, I need to just excuse myself oh, for one second. Is that okay with you guys? <laughs> yep. Sure. Thank you so much. I'll be right back. Hold on, let me message Walker real quick. Um, call you back. And this isn't just limited to to your t towing idea, Mr. Chavez. So if you have other businesses that you would like for us to consider mm. uh, as as foundational businesses then we'd lo we'd love to hear about them um, i'm not giving you the i would not give you uh the the the, the business license application form and exp and i don't want you to misunderstand and think that you are chained to the one business that you are operating right now it is also for pro prospective businesses that you feel like may be necessary for the function of, of, of the city and its constituents in the future if it's a service that you would like to provide that that is very enticing to be honest yeah so so would you would you like access to the form uh yeah i'd love to, i'd love to actually sure um all right like i said earlier okay. it's, it's kind of uh limited in its uh in the the, the 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 it's limited in how it presents itself right now uh simply because we wanted to to, to keep it uh into the documents application but that couldn't handle it so i'll be sending you an email with a with mm. access to the form in enclosed all right. Okay. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Um, this entire thing is very exciting. What you guys are doing here with the, uh, is, uh, this is all predicated on Max winning the election. Yeah. Yes. Which so, I presume is the land is the likely landslide. I mean, well, we're hoping. <laughs> so, um, so like I um, offered to Jane with Senior Weapons, if you and you know your company mm. want to personally, uh, as one of his campaign managers, like, um. If you and your company want to speak to him, um, whether just by yourself or, you know, with whoever else in, mm. in your company, if you want to speak to him, you know, to talk about what your interests are um, for the future and how he can possibly help with that, um, we can set up a meeting. Oh, yeah, that that would be amazing. Um, let me put my number on the table real quick. Do you mind yeah. all sending me a text? Sure. Awesome. Thank you. I can hear how much you don't want. Wait, what do you mean, Rory? <laughs> how do you spell your last name, Nina? Oh, it's going to be C H A V E Z. Wait, expand. What do you mean? I sent you a text, text. Mr. Shabbos. Awesome. Thank you. I've also just sent over the email with the uh, the, the, the business license application form contained therein. All right. There we go. And uh, just, just, just to reiterate, I feel that you understand, but I, I feel the need to do so. Um, Please, please don't show that that business license application form to anyone else. We are not ready to receive the the volume that it may uh, 
did generate went open to the public. I'll keep it very, very close to my chest. I, uh, <laughs> I imagine you don't want any uh, inappropriate applications filtering through. <laughs> yeah. Yes, <sir. laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, uh, Miss Erica, something that I we discussed with Mr. Chavez while you were gone um, mm -hmm. is even though we've approached you because of your prominence in the industry uh, of food service at CGI, this is just one positive. Um, is right to you, not just throw uh, themselves at access them. Access to this form. I don't want you to feel caged by this. It does seem like you're falling out of love idea. rapidly if with the shop. Another idea uh... for a business that may be foundational to the city and its constituents that you feel that Mr. Thurbert's cabinet sh should consider. Um, then obviously feel, feel free to apply. Uh, we're giving you wholesale access to this form. It's not limited to. to oh yeah, to no, I'm super down. I just so if you have another idea, say another restaurant. I hate or, presenting or if you want my. To, you know, go through with that that hunters union or meat processing. I, uh... or, Whatever um, comes to your mind, you've stricken us as a as an entrepreneur and somebody who has good ideas uh, and has that spark to, to lead the the industry of the, the the city and the state going forward. So we we want to. Uh, oh, I got you. Want you to understand that you have whole, wholesale access to the form. It's not just in your butts. I don't, Thank you. I, don't, I, I I understand that. I feel like I don't like the these early stages, just even having my foot in the door. Yeah, yeah. I want to see where this goes. Like, I my heart is there at the moment. Um, I am in love with the environment. I'm in love with the employees. I think everyone is fantastic. And when we're all working together, it is so rewarding. Even though it's minimum like, wage, we're getting harassed every single you know day. I mean? There's a I nice solidarity between the employees there. So being able to help a lot of them because i understand a lot of them they've come back to los santos after god knows how long and Even they've lost everything helpful, and they're feeling being respected useless and bad about working in fast food when quite honestly it's a goddamn great job to have i think it's brilliant and i'd, I'd rather see them sort of trying to be respectful rise up if i can help them get their foot in the door and move on to potentially bigger and better things then i'm i'm more than happy to focus on senior buns until i feel like i might have you know until i find something that suits me <laughs> that that mm. passion is both commendable and admirable and one of the one of the reasons that you came to mind once this process came to bear and i fully understand your position but whenever you are ready for it feel free to reach out at any time and we, we will get the process started with you i appreciate that thank you very much um i, I think that's all i had uh, Miss Ash or Miss Miss Penny, if you have anything else that you would like to <laughs> elaborate here, um, I think I'm good for now. Unless yeah, you guys no, it, have it, any... all sounds all sounds wonderful. Yeah. All right. I, think I remember okay. when I first met you, Ash. You told me about your experience with Uwu, and I remember saying to you at the time that <laughs> welcome. You know, you're welcome in the Senior Buns family, and if there's anything that we can do for you, then you know, doors always open. We're all here to help each other. I appreciate that very much. I think it's going to be great. Well, you know, both Ash and I restaurant queens years ago. Hell yeah. So if you need any advice, you let us know. Yeah. My first time working in fast food. <laughs> Done a hell well, of a job, Jane. <laughs> food, but yeah, but you're Absolutely. doing great. Fast food, don't know about that. Shelly's not here to talk about burger shot, but, you know. General restaurant management, we've got you. We don't talk about burger shop. Exactly. And everyone's like, oh, I used to work there. It's like, I don't care. You work at Senior Buns now. Stop <laughs> talking about that goddamn heart stopper, the bleeder. I don't care. I don't think they're even done uh, cleaning out all the all the, the residue of what went on in that place. I think the building's still c condemned. I don't even know, want to know what Shelly did with it. But yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for meeting with us, guys. Thank you so much. Pleasure is all mine. <laughs> Thank you. And I look forward to working with you in the future. Is right. there a, oh, there is a bar here, isn't there? <laughs> there is. There is. Yeah. I want to treat myself to some expensive spirits. Ooh. 